Hi everyone, I am Shante with Our Legacy and this is Lizon with Vilco. And today we are here again to discuss some interesting topics. First and foremost, it being community, and then we're going to dive into some um, um, things that we're doing in the community. But um, I definitely want you all to know that if you want to get in contact with us, remember to visit our website, Our Legacy. Um, OurLegacyMPO.com You can call us 773-303-5846 or email us as well if you want to get in contact with us and want to know more about what it is that we are doing. So, yes, again, today's topic is community and I'm so glad to have my uh, friend, my buddy, Lizon, or aka Vuco, here with us. And we've been friends for a very long time. True, true. <laughs> and, I'm glad um, to be back. And, yeah, I'm glad to have you. And I'm just so uh, appreciative of the fact that he enjoys and um, sees what my sister and I and my brother and I are doing is a good thing. He always, always have uh, reached out and said, what you all are doing is a wonderful thing. Keep doing, keep staying encouraged, keep doing positive things. He really enjoys what we're doing. So mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that. I, I, yeah, I definitely uh, believe that we need to do more in the community. Us, all races, not just us as uh, African Americans, mm -hmm. but all people, we need to help out all communities because this is our world and we need to do better to take care of it. Absolutely, and what way to go about uh, making the world, number one, a better place, and number one, making also our communities a better place. So we're going to start off with um, community issues. As you all know, over the last couple of weeks, my sister and I, my brother, uh, as well as when I had uh, Vuco on the show, we've been talking about community issues that um, plagues our community. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we see in the so-called black community that there is a lot of distress happening. You know, people are depressed. Mm -hmm. um, violence. Violence is gang, happening. Gang, gang wars. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy. It, it's a lot going on. And um, my sister and I and my brother and just people in general who, are, um, who I'm around, we're just trying to figure out a better way to um, combat some of these issues. Mm -hmm. And one way that... Um, we decided to um, put our hands to the plow to do is get involved, to yeah. actually get involved, go door to door, talk to these people on the street, um, speak to them. Mm -hmm. Hello campaign. That's what we're doing in the community. We speak Definitely. to our people. Anything you would like to add? Yeah, I actually love what you guys are doing with your hello campaign. Okay. And, you know, your t-shirts. If you guys haven't seen, they have these hello t-shirts and it's really cool. You know, I, yeah. I, I think that's pretty dope. Um, and I think that, yeah, pretty much going along with what you said, I think we just all need to help out a little bit more and, and work with each other a little bit more instead of, you know, being distant, you know, where we could, say, be more neighborly. We could start by doing that. We could be uh, better Samaritans. That's right. Yeah, it, it, it starts small. You you mm -hmm. think it doesn't take all this extra stuff. It starts with a simple, hello, how are you? How do you feel? Um you know, give a nice compliment, a nice um, gesture to the person. Um, it was a blessing. I would say it was a blessing, the fact that I did not end up with a summer job last summer, right? So I work for the Chicago Public Schools, and we during the summertime, we don't work, right? We don't get paid during the summer. I'm just putting it out there. No, no shame. But the fact that I, I realized that it was a blessing in, in disguise because I was like, oh man, what am I gonna do? I don't, I don't, I don't have a job. I've been looking. Not that I was being lazy and not looking. I was right. looking, but for some odd reason, I didn't wind up with a job. So what I did was spent time in the community. Mm -hmm. I spent time in the community, and I, I did a, 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 a I wind up doing um, a shop, running, uh, not running, but um, working at a shop right on 63rd. You know, with um, some mentors of mine, and we did community. We, we out I was selling water but not only was it just about trying to make a few dollars but it was about actually getting out in the community talking to the the so-called thugs talking to the right. the so-called drug addict or the um so-called prostitute or whatever you want to call these mm -hmm. people they're still people human beings but I was able to get out in the community and 
speak to the people, commun communicate with them, vibe with them, connect with them, and it was a beautiful thing. And um, when these people in the neighborhood, when they see me, they still speak to this day. Mm -hmm, they speak, definitely. you know, they might be up to no good, might be, you know, yeah, doing their yeah. thing and stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah, you, you started somewhere. You know, you can't change people somewhere. overnight. But what you did, that, that they had a lasting impression on them. Uh-huh. You know, and I they respect saying. you for that. You know, whereas people just look down on them, oh, get a job or oh, do better when you're not, like, helping out the situation. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's worse to kind of, like, shame people as opposed to just not saying anything at all. You know, That's if you don't true. have, if you don't help people, don't have, you know, don't <laughs> say anything. You know, if you, like, like old thing my mom used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything. Yeah, I remember you know? that saying. Right. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. I think everybody knows that, but, <laughs> you know, people like to you know, and put themselves in bad positions instead of just making things better. So I think what you guys were doing and what you were doing last summer is definitely something that's great to do in the community for everybody. Okay, yeah, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And don't forget you all, oh, don't forget you all, if you would like to um, know more information about what our legacy is doing or LV Cove, mm -hmm. um, you can contact us 773-303-5846 or visit our website, ourlegacympo.com. Yeah, you know, get in, get in touch with you. Get in touch with us, you all. Also, um, please call in if you are enjoying or if you are watching or if on Facebook Live, friends, family, whatever, whoever. Call in and give us some um, feedback on, on this topic. This is a broad topic, but yet it is very important to be discussed in this time, in this moment in time. So call us at 1312-738-1060 um, so we can hear your point of view revolved around the community and the uh, community's uh, issues. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, what role are we playing? What role do me and v uh, Vuko play in the community? Mm -hmm. What role do you play in the community? What role, what are you doing to mm -hmm. help so quote unquote so called um, combat some of the issues? Well, uh, what Vuco, our stance is basically to motivate people positively using art. Okay. Um, that's basically our stance. We have a lot of artists who do positive music, okay. poet, poetic uh, po poetry, poetry, stuff mm. like that. You know, um, we have fashion designers who like to, you know, make nice positive stuff for the community, like okay. your Hello shirts, like yeah. that. Yeah, and I saw some. I saw some. I saw some of your shirts. Right, nice right. Too. Thank I you. I appreciate yeah. that. This yeah. is actually one of my shirts right here. Oh. Right, this is just a, a general shirt oh, with, with, with our logo and our website on it, viewco.com. Okay, nice. Yeah, but we actually want to do more for the community. We we actually like what you guys are doing in the community okay. with your garden. You do? Yeah, definitely. What do you like about it? <laughs> you know, we like that most people uh, don't know about gardens. You know, I, I talk to a lot of people in the community, and they're you're you're they're, so right. Their nutrition is bags of chips. I'm telling you, know? you, you are so right. That, that's true. I right. can attest to that because uh, it, it's funny that you said that because um, when I was working in the garden yesterday, I was um, I didn't mean to cut you off, and I'm not. Uh, no, you so, <laughs> but it's funny. You're right. You'd be surprised the reactions that you get from people in the community when you're doing community garden. Oh, we have a caller, so, um, yeah, caller, go ahead with your question or comment. Yes, um, I'm very impressed and interested in your program. Uh, my name is Lewis Bowers, right, and I um, am in uh, Kindred uh, Rehabilitation Hospital for a situation that was concerning uh, my poor blood pressure and poor blood circulation, which I experienced the removing of five of my toes as an amputee. And it's, it's amazing how that even, it doesn't have to be ministry. Anything that we do together as a whole okay. is a ministry. And I think mm -hmm. this is a marvelous thing because a lot of folk, and I'm not knocking nobody, put effort in, it brings about a change. That's right. And what I feel is this, is that if more of us could come together collectively as one mind, yeah. one body and one soul, uh -huh. concerning us as a whole, human beings, not individual, but to make things better. See, I believe mm -hmm. that when you have a, 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 a conviction and a belief, you know what I'm saying? And I know this has a lot to do with spirituality, too, and then the first thing is natural, then okay. spiritual, caring about someone. Caring about, not Speaking yourself. Speaking to someone. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because people are already down in the dumps, 
they're already condescending people talking to them crazy you ain't got this and you ain't got that you know we don't put them down we lift them up so what I'm saying is this is that we need more of this and I'm very interested in this program I was blessed enough to um, be able to uh, have my legs salvaged you know they were going to get get rid of them well thank you Lewis we appreciate your call we thank you thank you for those words of encouragement yes ma'am and you're right. So um, you can definitely um, contact us via our uh, website, ourlegacynpo.com, or you can call us. Definitely, uh, if you want to be a mentor uh, in what we're doing, if you uh, have resources available um, that you can connect us to, we're open for, uh, for those things. But you're right. Um, as Vuko just said earlier, if you don't have anything nice to say about these people that are struggling in the community, then don't say nothing at all if you don't have, uh, I'm sorry, if you're not going to help them. Mm -hmm. um, so like you said, uh, Lewis, we have to be one, one step to combating these issues is coming together and caring for one another. We have to genuinely care for one we wouldn't be doing we wouldn't be here today discussing these things if we did not care about our communities and those and the people in it yeah. so i definitely that is one of the um principles in which we stand on yeah, um, caring caring about our community caring about the people within it and becoming selfless doing selfless acts and i'm very big on that mm -hmm. i'm very big on taking myself out of it and and and, and, and and not making this about myself. Right. It's about me and others serving others. This mm -hmm. is not about me. It's not about you know right. you. It's about us serving others. Yeah. And that's how I look at it. Yeah, we definitely are here to do more uh, mm -hmm. as a as a community and as a people. You know, we're we're here to you know mm -hmm. definitely bless the earth and not you know take from the earth like, right, we, yeah. like we're doing right now. So I think. Uh, you hit it right on the head. And so, which, um, do not forget, also, you all, let me go to, don't forget, I know I keep showing this, but, um, ourlegacynpo.com, as well as, we have the Cleo Center. Cleo. Cleo Center. Um, they provide a after school program during the um, school year, but also, they are, also, thank you for pulling that up for me, they also have an, um, summer program so if you want to find out more information about their summer program it's free for um children six through eight i'm sorry six through um 15 i think ages six through 15 uh call 773-363-6941 to get more information about the cleo center um they are once again providing a summer program for the youth yeah the and cleo it's center. free the Cleo yeah. Center. It's free. You They're can't dope. go wrong with that, could you? Yeah, Cleo Center is dope. I love them. Check them out, guys. For oh, you, you've heard about it? Yeah, we uh, Cleo Center used to have uh, we we used to have like the events, uh, poetry events every two. Oh yeah, and you know what? I've been to a few. Yep. Yeah, I've yeah, been to a few dope. before I knew that it was a a center that um, revolves around uh, community and things yep. like that. But yep. so yeah, that's interesting. But yeah. To continue on with this topic, uh, community gardening, community, as we were talking about, I, well, I was talking about the reactions of people that people have. So going back to this uh, one individual, when she saw me out there gardening, she was like, wow, this is a gift. I was mm -hmm. like, really? She was like, she was like, I would have never thought about doing something, you know, like this. She was like, wow, what you going to do with the foods? Like she was just <laughs> so, like, I, so interested in, um, it was like I was teaching, uh, I'm sorry, um, yeah, teaching her some new knowledge, giving her new knowledge yeah. that she hadn't had before. Yeah. So you're right on it. Um, uh, you'd be surprised that a yeah. lot of individuals do not know a lot about um, gardening. Yeah, and good health in general. Like, uh, what was the name Lewis was just called? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry about your health situation, but right I think too, uh, yeah. I think in a, a community, especially the African American community, we need to start eating right. You know, we, we've Talk been taught we've been taught a lot of bad stuff, and gar you know, we need to start with yeah. gardening. Uh, so, what you guys are doing, we definitely need to link up with that. All, everyone okay. in the community, we need to start eating right. That's the main thing. Uh, so many diseases That's are caused right. because of the, the food we eat. You you know, it's it's crazy. 
that you are so right and that's uh some of the things that we're growing in the garden um are herbs uh oregano parsley Yummy. um green beans okay uh collard greens lettuce uh you name it, Sounds a, lot, good. a lot of different uh, greens, and um, so the young lady asked again. She was like, "So what y'all y'all gonna grow the food and give it out?" I'm like, "Yep, we gonna give it right on out, uh, yep. you know, and give it out to people who who who, who may need it, you yeah. know, on the street." And that's a blessing. And that's a blessing. So can we um uh, talk about um Vuco and mm -hmm. um some of the things that um, you have coming up uh, yeah. concerning your organization. Yeah, uh, since we're on the topic of health yes. and uh, community, we actually have a community event coming up, a free community event. Free? Yeah. Ain't go wrong with that. <laughs> coming up very soon is July. Uh, actually, the end of July is uh, okay. July 29th. It's okay. basically a health, love, peace event. We're going to have what, what VUCO does, we cater to art, artists and art enthusiasts. So we're going to have some musical performances, we're going to have some live painting, we're going to have some fashion designers okay. doing some stuff, we're going to have some speakers, you know, we're going to have mm -hmm. a lot of good stuff going on. It's going to be a very fun event, it's going to be very positive, we're going to be preaching nothing but positive okay. health, love and peace. That's, we need that. Yeah. We need that considering everything that's going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, so I, I appreciate that. Um, and can you give them your information? Yeah, uh, the, the event. Feature? I'm gonna uh, be giving out a flyer, and I'm also gonna. Ha I might uh, be able to uh, have a flyer sent to their website, but I'm gonna have a flyer okay. on my website right. as well, coming soon. Viewcode.com. Okay. But uh, the, basically, the the, the event is gonna be Sunday, July 29th. And it's gonna be at the lakefront mm. on 63rd, uh, 63rd Street Beach, Hay Street Beach. And it's gonna be, it's not gonna be on the pavilion side where the beach is, it's gonna be on the opposite side where the parking lot is. Mm. But you're, you're gonna see us. And, and that, like I said, we're gonna send out more information about it soon. Okay, that's good stuff. And um, just to show you our website, don't forget to support us. Uh, check out our website. We have. Um, like I said, the Hello campaign, that's that's very good what um, Vuco is doing, and I'm definitely going to support him on that. Um, we are involved in the community, you all. As you see, he's trying to get together this e beautiful event based around love, health, and peace. Mm -hmm. And we have to. If no one else does it, it won't get done. And so I have the Hello campaign where I mentor. I, I do mentoring in the school, um, outside the school. So you can visit our, visit our website on that. We have also, oh, sorry, resources. Sister Afia, mm -hmm. uh, who deals with mental um, health, mental health for uh, Black women. Dope. Yes, and she's really, really good. Um, very good. And what else? Uh, oh, the Clio Center. We just talked about that. CWI Com Commonwealth Initiatives. Check, and we also have Children and Youth Resource Fair. So check out some of these great things that we have on our website. Mm -hmm. um, oh, did that already? Is the Community Clean Green Gardening? We what we did last year. So we are really putting our hand to the plow, you all. Yeah. Concerning community community and um and there's so many things people can get involved in just by going to the site like yeah and, and, and you watch your site okay. well well with my site um well, I was talking about your site. Right? Yeah, my, my site is a nonprofit, and it's like I said earlier, Wait. it's really for artists and art enthusiasts. So if you're an artist, right. you uh, you like to perform, and uh, you know you like to be creative positively. I like to sing. <laughs> See, and I sing. You, well, I, did you ever know that when I was in high school? I don't think I know. Were you in a Glee club? I wasn't in. I, maybe for like uh, a couple weeks, and then. Okay, I, okay. So I, I didn't. Know. <laughs> I didn't know. But I I sing so. Yeah, you know, maybe you can sing at the event. I, I, I definitely want. Yeah. You guys to come to, to speak at the event though okay we will we will you know. be there to do that cool um, cool that will work so um yeah we are definitely putting our hands to the plow with this community a few things that we have coming up uh consist of um like i said community uh community day but we haven't come up with the day but where we're gonna actually have a community day in, in uh, where we're growing the garden, where we're doing the gardening. We're just gonna have the community come out and 
enjoy good food, salad, mm -hmm. smoothies, right? Oh, that's Favorite good. thing to eat. <laughs> smoothies sounds and good. salads, and we're just going to bond, spend quality time with one another. And I think mm -hmm. that's what we're missing. We're not spending enough time with each other, mm -hmm. I, in my opinion. I just, uh, as far as, like, residents yeah. on the block and stuff, we don't yeah. know each other. So yeah, how can we get to know each other? Unless we come out of our house, come out, come out of our sh uh our shell. Definitely. And yeah, I think that a lot of devices that are like keeping us apart, especially in this new era. We are in the future, guys, if you didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there are a lot of things that keep us apart, but we gotta, you know, we gotta just break free. You know, we definitely have to be more open and, you know, enjoy each other. And this is a great way of doing it, especially in the oh, community. It's a, it's a great way. It's a good start to, yeah. you know, when I'm not saying that we're going to be perfect and we're going to save the whole world or anything, anything, right. anything like that. <laughs> Wishful thinking, yeah. but... Baby steps. Baby steps, yeah. And as long as we're making an impact on someone's life, Definitely. then that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. And I can attest to, uh, you know, just by doing a hello campaign, being out in the community and talking to different people, you'd yeah. be surprised the things that they tell you about how you are impacting their lives and uh, uh, and making a difference by just yeah. by you being an example of um, being a positive uh, figure. Yeah. yeah, I got a story about that actually. Uh, Go ahead, I was, tell it. I was in the community. Uh, I'm I'm from a, I'm from Algale Gardens. Okay. But I I, I go all I be on the low end. I be on the east side. I was actually on the east side when this happened. I was on 79th and Essex. Okay. And I saw oh, a bunch of. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Yeah, and please guys, don't be scared. It's we're all black here. Be, <laughs> everybody doesn't get shot every day. You can stand outside. That's true. Just be safe and be be mindful and be aware. Conscious where. and why? Yeah. Yeah, where. but I was out there and there was a, a group of kids. They probably about 15 to 18 maybe and they um mm -hmm. they were trying to coax this younger maybe a 14 year old into doing some really redundant thing okay and it was uh basically to, to defecate in the alley what right. oh my gosh that's, so that's kind of we crazy. we were asking them we caught up to him we like man we he was actually trying that was the craziest he was trying part. to he do was, it he was trying yeah. he was forcing himself so we caught up we like <laughs> why are you doing that just like first off that's dumb you know I'm and one. And right. for some reason, it's this this clique. I forgot the name he want of the clique. He yeah. wanted to be a part of them, and that's their initiation oh, process, right. which was redundant. And I don't understand understand why he would even when someone says something to you like to do something like that, you should just think what you know in your mind and understand that's not that doesn't make sense. So we we talked to him okay, for a while. Because a lot him, of people don't have guidance. Yeah, and that's exactly where I, where I, we came in. Me and my uh, business partner, we talked to him. Okay. Told him what he should be doing. We learned that he's actually he interested in track and okay. basketball. Right. And we we actually kind of got him on the right path. And every time I'm we so see good. him, we just give him you know inspiration and motivation. That is so good, and mm -hmm. and they need that because that's a lot of times um, what they're missing. And um, <clears throat> before we wrap it up. Um, a, a lot of times, well, what I learned from this one individual, um, a young, uh, uh, he won't, he won't young, uh, individual, um, street individual, yeah. and he said that a lot of this violence is happening because they want reputation. It's simply yeah, that's about true. Reputation. That is true. It's not because, uh, not necessarily because of mainly because of money or mainly because uh other things that's part of it but mainly is because they're trying to have a reputation yeah we, we want to feel important we want to feel like we're somebody yeah. and um but they're be a part of they, something yeah be a part of something and i just think that we're directing into the wrong yeah wrong way and and, and directing that energy in the wrong way yeah, yeah. that's what i think I agree. So um, we're going to be wrapping this up. And um, I appreciate you all for taking the time out to watch the show. I, I, I think this topic was really good. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, this is our last show for the season. But oh, no. we will be back. That's not going to be the end of us doing Can TV. Okay. Um, we will be probably starting back maybe like in August or September. What okay. you think about coming back then? I'd love to. You know, I'd love to come back and let you guys know how the event went. If you guys can come out, right. come check us out. Uh, that's what we're talking about. We want those guys who feel some type of way in the hood and they're feeling like they need to be, you know, tough. Come to the event. It's about Please positivity. Please come to the event. 
it's you know, gonna be nice. I can already tell. I can feel. I can feel that it's gonna be a good event. Definitely, it's gonna be beautiful. So don't forget to um, call us, email us, whatever you got to do to contact us, you all, uh, and get involved. Ourlegacympo.com, and we appreciate you taking the time out for uh, watching us again. And um, yeah, until next time, peace out. Peace.